Now, I hope you have time, like I always do in the end of my interview. I got a treat right. for you. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how much of a nerd I am. Let's see that. I'll, it's a what you know. I think I'm just gonna call it, you know, a nostalgic version. Gotcha. Okay. You know what I'm saying, Milo? Touche. Touche. So, Milo, are you mm -hmm. ready? I'm. I'm as ready as it can be. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I can stand up to the name. <laughs> I think you got this. <laughs> All right. So, um, basically, it's gonna be um, three questions um, by me. And some other sources like um, IMDb. So let's get started. Fair enough. All right. So Milo, um, according to IMDb, who was the American comic book writer, editor, and publisher who was executive vice president and publisher of Marvel? Here are the three options. All right. Is okay. It a? <laughs> Is <Oops>. it A? <laughs> Spike Lee, okay. B, Stan Lee, okay. or C, Nas. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy because my favorite rapper. That's hilarious. And you know, he's, he's such a nerd. Too. Well, I'm not, I thought he's a huge Ghostbusters fan. He's a very, very big oh. Ghostbusters fan. Yeah, he's actually dressed up in like the full suit, like hey, the proton look, pack. Guys, look, Nas like yeah. you know what Milo's saying. Nas like you know Ghostbusters. Yeah, he's like, a huge. Like... I mean, go to his Instagram. You'll see him like you know, <laughs> yeah, he was all dressed up, you know, with the whole proton pack, the suit, and everything. So we know it's not Nas. I'm not, Nas. I know Nas. Been... <laughs> so let's go with Stan Lee. I know it's not Spike Lee. He's a direct. I I would assume it's not Spike Lee, but yeah, let's go with Stan Lee. <laughs> Yes, that would be me, Stanley. Yes. Okay. So one point for you, Milo. Yes. <laughs> All right. It's going to be a little different question here. So the second question here for you, Milo. Which decade were the, they called it the um, calm shell known as the flip phone? Um, so which decade was, you know, that flip phone was invented? Um, yeah. So, um, which is the Motorola in 1996? Um it's called like the dub, the Star Trek, according to Business Insider. Mm -hmm. um, so is it A, the 90s, B, mm -hmm. the 70s, or C, the 80s? Interesting. Which I kind of already gave you the answer, so. Right. I mean, I, I, I feel like it would be it would be the 90s. Yes. <laughs> so I'm about to say, yeah, because I don't remember, because I remember even, yeah. One of yeah, because one one of my first phones were actually this was when Altel was still around. It was mm -hmm. a huge brick phone and it had the big antenna to it too. <laughs> that was like in like seventh or eighth grade, and the screen was green and black. And the game, the only game on there was Snake. That was my very first cell phone. Okay, uh, yeah. I, I wasn't you know such a child toddler, so I can't even know. Right. What? <laughs> right, but I remember they had the flip phones. I that's I think that's where Netflix. I mean Netflix. Jesus Christ, um. What's the one that um Chime one? No, no, no. Um it was it started with an N2. I forget what it was called. The oh. book, um it's, I, I believe why um, am I getting this such a, a blank right now? Um it was called um shoot. Nextel. Nextel. I think that's what Nextel got their inspiration from. Cause yeah. that's what you know, we all wanted that. The flip because it was a flip phone, right? But you were actually like able to walkie talkie with the Nextel. Okay. So, um, Right, yeah, so no, I had to be in the nineties for sure. That's why I was like I'm thinking about beepers because I was like, wait, beepers kinda beep, beep, oh, beepers. <laughs> right. Well beepers came out in the eighties. I remember beepers. Right. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid I had a beeper. My my oh. room, yeah, my father got me a beeper like it was like in the nineties, right? I mean I remember yeah. they all used to walk around with beepers, yeah. Yeah, I remember those pay um what prepaid um phones too. We'd like go to like a restaurant like McDonald's back in the days and mm -hmm. you know, making those phone calls. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. And then last question here, Milo, since we have been mostly talking about Power Rangers, can you name all the Power Rangers seasons that the character Tommy Oliver was quote unquote suited up? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, Mighty Morphin, Zeo, um, Turbo, um, uh, the, uh, Dino Thunder, um, 
and then they did the big one with uh, <sighs> where they brought all the Rangers back, all all seasons back. Um, that was um, basically. I'm just asking, like, the name the seasons or you know. Oh, his main seasons. Yeah. Okay. So then, okay. So Mighty Morphin, Zeo, Turbo, and then Dino Thunder. Quick question. Right? Was he stood up in like season one or two or three or? Um, well, he he was suited up in all seasons for Mighty Morphin. Um, there was only one season for Zio, and there was only one season. But he was they they switched the whole team in Turbo halfway through Turbo. Besides, oh, that's Justin. every season basically in Mighty Morphin. Did he suit up? Oh, all three seasons. He was he was suited up for all three seasons in Mighty Morphin. Oh yeah. Yes, sure, you yeah. are correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he yes. was suited up all three seasons. Yeah, Mighty yes. Morphin was the only one that had three seasons. So. Yeah, Mighty Morphin season one to three. So one, two, three yeah. of seasons of Mighty Morphin, mm -hmm. Zio, Turbo, and of course one of my favorite seasons, Dino Thunder. So Dino Thunder, yep. Yep, and you won. You know, <laughs> I'm nostalgic, yes. yes. Nostalgic, yeah. yes. yes. <laughs> You know what's crazy? There was actually supposed to be a Zeo movie that was never released before Turbo. You know, really? I saw that literally like a year ago. Yeah, I saw this article. I actually saw the um the cover for the poster and everything for the Zeo released movie. Oh, yeah, there was supposed to be a Power Ranger Zeo movie. Yeah, it would have been great really? to see that. Mm -hmm. They also mentioned, and again, you know, real, uh, real quick, um, during the pandemic, of course, you know, I watch. That's when I started watching the Saban, the whole Saban era. Right. You know, from Mighty Morphin all the way to, I want to say, Wild Force seasons halfway, but right, yeah, right. Yes. But mm -hmm. the main four all the way to in space because I heard so much great things. But they said Time Force was supposed to have their movie as well, and I can see oh, that really? after watching. Yeah, I was like, wow, you know, yeah. it's that crazy. was a popular season. That was a very popular season. I watched that. Yeah. I actually watched that whole season. Yeah. That my, yeah, you know, my favorite in that season was um the Quantum Ranger. Um, what's his name? Um, Eric. What's Eric? Eric. There we go. Eric. Yeah, yeah. West was uh, yeah Jason Fonts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jason Font was West. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eric Quantum was my favorite. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. his character. Yeah. I usually enjoy like the vigilantes like that. You know, that kind of turn good and like right. do their own thing. Like, it's always kind of been like my go-to people. Right, right. But before mm. we go here, Milo, is there anything you'd like to say? Um. Yeah, you know, everybody that's looking to do your thing, like, you know, like, you know, it doesn't matter how many people are like on that specific, like, you know, you go down the bread aisle, right, or the cereal aisle, you see tons and tons of cereals, different brands and different names of breads, you know, like, or cereals, like, don't let the amount of people stop you starting your own platform or like just speaking about something, just, you know, just do it, you know, be inspired. If it's not through this, you know, find inspiration out there. Uh, just do it, just start, you know. Yeah, because you know I kind of had the same issue, and then, you know after I started posting, I just you know started posting, you know. Um, but yeah, no, it's, that you don't care what people think, just you know do it. Yeah, you you kind of have to just set that like you know you 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 kind of have to people are gonna say stuff regardless, you know. I mean, the celebrities deal with that all day, you know. If if they, I mean they will be online all day responding to all the negative reactions, right? Like it's impossible. Like people are just gonna have negative things to say, you know. Yeah. They're obviously in a bad spot or a bad place in their life, you know, and you can always return that with positivity, you know, that, that's up to you. But, you know, just start, you know, um, and, you know, it's been, this has been great. It's been a while since I've done a podcast, you know, I actually got to relaunch mine. So um, yeah. once I relaunch mine, um, I have yeah. to bring you on. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> we'll talk about your platform. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah.